So ever since I started stacking gold, fractional gold has always been kind of a high premium option. Yeah, well, those premiums are completely gone now due to the spot price increase. Let's talk about gold, let's talk about world events, let's talk about what's driving the price and something that we might need to watch coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Florida Stacker on YouTube. It's been a minute since I've done a video. I do apologize for that. Uh, life has been really busy, especially starting, starting up my new business here, actually selling gold and silver, and also my my nine to five, my regular job. It's just been it's just been really busy, and uh, honestly, that's a good thing because uh, I like that. I thrive in that kind of environment, and I hope you guys are all doing really well too, at least as well as you can, given the hard times that we're all faced with today. Which is one of the reasons why our fractional gold, like this tenth ounce gold American Eagle here. This is the only 2024 that I've got in my stack uh, of the Gold Eagles actually so far. Is doing really well. As a matter of fact, if you bought a 10th ounce Gold Eagle for a very high premium, let's say 9, 10, 11, 12% over spot at an LCS or anywhere you know near like 15% even online, uh, chances are if you bought that a couple of months ago, then that premium's already been devoured by the rise in spot price. So why is that happening? Okay, so a couple of things. One, the United States is in a really bad situation when it comes to its debt payments. Right now, we're actually paying more in debt interest. That is interest. We're paying those interest payments on our debt higher than that of the Department of Defense, which is, I think, historically been the largest part of the United States budget since the uh, since around like 1942, when the U.S. entered World War II. So you know, quite a while ago, we've spent more on defense than anything else. Now we're paying a higher amount in dollars, that is, on our own debt interest, which is just crazy. So uh, fractional gold is doing really well because the U.S. economy and the world economy in general is not doing so well, even though there's a lot of uh, talk about jobs doing well. Uh, quite honestly, a lot of those jobs are government jobs, which is really just, uh, you know, those folks are being paid off of uh, either the deficit or tax income. So it's not exactly contributing to GDP, uh, you know, in the way that you would want it to. We're really not producing as much as we used to. So gold and silver are doing really well. And I was in the LCS this week watching uh, spot price for gold, well over 2400 and silver just getting so close to $30 before it came hammering down. And that's because here's what I think we need to watch out for. First of all, when the price runs up really high, really fast, you can almost always expect a pullback. Uh, where it's going to kind of find support or the bottom is anybody's guess. Uh, that's the first thing. But secondly, the U.S. dollar is actually showing a bullish pattern right now. Yeah, that's right. Dollar strength is up. And if you follow gold and silver spot price and its movements, then you know that usually when the dollar is strong, the value of gold and silver at spot price is lower in dollars and vice versa, when the dollar is is weak, when it's decreasing against like foreign currencies, then uh, spot price tends to rise in U.S. dollars, the value of our precious metals. So right now you've got a situation that's not very common where the dollar is rising, it's getting stronger, and the gold and silver spot price is increasing. But I think that's actually going to potentially impact how far we're going to go, how fast, and uh, maybe even lead to a pullback. So uh, as a seller of gold and silver and a stacker of gold and silver, my advice is always the same. Buy less when the price is running up really fast and buy more when the price has gone down and, and found kind of ground. Wait, it's, if it's falling, you don't want to catch the falling knife, right? Watch it fall. Watch it bounce. It hits the ground, stays there for a day or two. You know, you feel more comfortable that you found support. Usually it starts to kind of run back up a little bit. That's your time to come back in and, and make a bigger purchase. Uh, for your regular stackers. That's it's always worked for me, you know, buy bigger on the dips. So whether you're buying, you know, fractional gold Chinese pandas, uh, 22 carat uh, old Krugerrands, uh, higher premium American gold eagles because of the spot price increase and the way that, uh, you know, the United States is is running its, its fiscal policy, uh, things are looking really good for continued increases in value for gold and silver. Also, you got to look at what's going on in the world. Obviously, the tensions in the Mideast, again, uh, this time between Israel and Iran, uh, you know, talks of war, those such, those sorts of things could really drive either the spot price down rapidly or up rapidly. It kind of just depends on how you want to look at it. So 
Um, I think good things are coming for gold and silver. Obviously, it's been good so far this year, especially for those of you that held during the last few years when spot price really wasn't doing a whole lot, especially with silver. Uh, that's my take. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, just my tidbit, once again, buy less when the price runs up, buy more when the price goes down for my long-term holders and accumulators, which is the best way to really grow your wealth with physical gold and silver. And remember, it's physical that you need as your insurance policy. Now, for your 401k, sure, the ETFs, that's a good option. Uh, the mining companies, if you're looking to get in and get out and make a, a quick profit, you just got to be able to you know, pay attention. And, and those gains are already kind of in, so I'd, I'd be careful. But physical is your insurance policy. Fractional gold's been great for me. Hopefully, it's been great for you. It's an affordable way to, to hold gold, to hold value and wealth in gold. And it doesn't take much to protect it and hold it at home. It's so small. You can hide it just about anywhere. So that's my take. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all enjoyed the gold images today. And I'm here to help you if you need any help with anything. And uh, have a great weekend. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel.